today's news, we can confirm that the crime rate in Los Angeles is in fact increasing. Gangs are spreading all across the town and streets of our beloved city. But the police are trying to do something about it. Trying to increase more people to become police officers in order to stop these gangs. wanted to see me sir yes Marcus I did we got a massive problem as you may have not heard the crime is increasing rapidly and the one to blame is Wilson Brock and I want you to take him down tonight tonight um, well okay do whatever it takes kill or arrest he's too dangerous and get your partner with you you two are both good detectives now go get him. It's about time you showed up, Scott. Yeah, yeah, alright, okay, what's the job today? Wilson Brock. Oh. Good evening, Mr. Newman. Ah, good evening, Betty. Ah, John, you're finally here. Yes, Adrian, there's something important I wanted to talk to you about. Right, basically, you know the Cyberman experiments? The human hybrids between man and machine? Androids? Okay. We are ready for it. We are ready to take it forward, but there's one problem. That's great, but, but what's the problem? Well, I'm pretty sure there's no one in Los Santos that's going to volunteer to be turned into an android. But I call it the Cyberman. Ah, this sucks. You could find someone who's injured badly that would have no choice. That could work. Adrian, you're a genius. That's a good idea.
sorry, but members only. I'm afraid you must leave. We're police detectives, pal. Let us pass. I'm sorry, but police aren't allowed in here either. So I'm afraid you must leave. Wilson Brock is a criminal. We want him. Bring him out here to us now. I'm afraid I can't, sir. Right, let's get out of here. We'll just watch them here for a while. See if anything happens. Sir, we need to talk. Okay, what is it? Two cops were outside looking for you, sir. I got rid of them, but I think they'll still be around. Ah, shit! Okay, do you recognize what vehicle they had? Yeah, I do. Good, find that vehicle and booby trap it with explosives. Understood. Come on, Luke, how long are you going to be? Hey, you should always take your time when you're looking at clothes, you know. <sighs> Whatever. Hey, I'm gonna go and wait in the car. Yeah, right. It appears it is working. Ah, good, good, good. That's oh, magnificent. Ah, 
Alright, keep working on the armor. It's finally finished, fully working. Scan and identify me. You are John Lulek. Oh, amazing. Just amazing. Go ahead. There you are, sir. Alright, come on, let's go talk to the board. Ladies and gentlemen of the board. Alright then, Mr. Lumic, what's on your mind? Well, for many years now, I've been working on human machines. Androids, cyborgs, whatever you want to call them. I personally call it the Cyberman. But now, I think I've finally done it created a machine with a brain, a human mind, and a conscience. This could change the world. I'm sorry, but um, why should we have a machine like this on the streets? Who knows if it would actually be safe or not? It's a machine. I don't think it's a great idea. Well, perhaps you should see it. Let's bring him in. Impressive. Yes, see, I knew you'd like it. Now listen, if we had him on the streets, we could save the lives of everyone in this city. Everyone. Okay, I see you have the money. No words to stuff. That's all of it. Just like you asked. Okay, the money's all yours. That went better than the last deal. I couldn't agree more. Right, let's go.
you know what this is money now empty it all of it
God. What is it? How you doing? Not good, Captain. Really. We've lost too many cops. I know. I, I, I don't know what else to do with all these crimes and gangs. Ugh, me neither. But we're gonna need a miracle. <laughs> More than that, Captain. Yeah, but who is he? Here's a drug dealer. Hang on a sec, Cap. Hey, you. How may I help you, Detective? Ah, you know, you just look familiar. You just... Ah, who are you? I mean, what are you? Under the mask. Marcus? That she was in it. Matter, Scott, you look like you've seen a ghost. No, Captain, it's that Cyberman thing. It's when I look into it. When I look right into it, I felt as I was looking right into my old partner. What? I, I just got that feeling that that machine is is Marcus. Marcus Drake. Hey boss, how's it going? Get inside. We got a bit of a problem. The Cyberman? Here? He saw one of our deals go down. It's most likely he could track us back here. And if he does, we're all fucked. Yeah, I see you man. But what are we gonna do? Just wait. We'll get the guns and everything, just in case he does show up.
Hi, I'm here to see Mr. Lumick. Yes, he's in the next room. Alright, thanks. Mr. Lumick. Ah, Detective, it's, uh, it's nice to see you. I'm here to talk about that Cyberman thing of yours. Ah, yes, yes. I want to know who exactly you put in that suit or body or whatever it is because I have a feeling the man inside that suit is my old detective partner who was killed a few weeks back his name was Marcus Drake oh boy yes it's him okay then how come he didn't recognize me he looked right at me and did not know who I was did you blank his memories or something oh no no the memories were cor corrupted during his conversion but it is likely he may gain his memories back but we don't know if that's possible I mean if you said his name or something to his face that might make him remember I I'm not sure look Marcus was classed as dead okay so we could pretty much do whatever we wanted to with his body I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry Okay, how are you? 
But Marcus. Hi, Scott. Looking good. Yeah, you too, man. How do you feel, dude? I, I... I don't feel anything anymore. I've, I've only just started remembering what happened. Yeah. I can remember. I... I remember. I remember this... This... This girl. Yeah, that was your girlfriend. I barely remember her. All I remember was we argued. We had a fight the day before I was killed. She left me. She said she never wanted to see me again. She hated me. She walked out the door. And it's all because of that fucking Brock guy. We need to take him down. I'm gonna take him down myself. Does he still hang out at that strip joint? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he does. You wanna take him out tonight? Absolutely. fucking lootly. You wanna take him out and end it. Once and for all. I decided to take care of her when you died. She's in good shape as you can see. Smoke up, boys. Uh, While well, you still got a chance, because it's most likely we're going to be going to war against Lumix toy machine right. of his. You ain't here. I can take him. Don't worry about me. What the fuck was that? The Cyberman. Enjoy killing you again. I think you're gonna be alright. 
come on, I'm a cyborg. I'll be fine. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna miss our old our old times. My old life that I can never return to. I can never return to her. Besides, I'll probably put her in danger. Now nah, come on, don't say that. There'll be a way. No, there isn't. <laughs> There's something I need to tell you. No one cares what you have to say, Brock. Oh, you're, you're like this. So, uh, I work for John Lumick. This was all a big kind of setup. <laughs> you, the Cyberman, were like a prototype. Your purpose was to impress the people in this city so that Lumick could have the ability to work on his Cyberman army. <laughs> This was all just a big trap. <laughs> well, that makes a lot of sense. I guess we don't need him anymore. <coughs> now what are you going to do? What needs to be done? Figured you'd be here. I'm guessing this isn't a social visit. I know everything now. You set me up. All of this. Just so you could create your army. Just so you can impress the people of this city. Well, yeah. And Brock was working for you all along. You son of a bitch. Hey, maybe we can work together. Imagine. What we could accomplish together, me and you, it'll be spectacular. You wanted to see us both? Yes, I have a mission for you. Hunt down and destroy the Cyberman. And do it in any way you can. You got it, boss.